Hello, hi guys, it's an Amiga 4 here with the brand new Samsung Galaxy S5. We're going to be taking a look at how to move applications to your micro SD card. Now, just to show you what I'm running first of all, because this is completely stock standard Android, and you can see there KitKat 4.4.2. The model number there is SM-G900F and as I said this is completely stock standard it's not rooted as you get it out the box. Scroll down to your application manager now I've got a 128 gigabyte micro SD card in the back of the handset and this 16 gigabyte internal storage is running out as you can see towards the bottom it says 6.3 gigabytes used 5.5 gigabytes free of the internal storage and if you go across to SD card you can see at the bottom there 2.8 megabytes used 119 gigabytes free in the first instance let's head over back to the downloaded section and say if I want to move across Adobe Reader a total of 13.25 megabytes you simply hit move to SD card and depending upon how much data it's moving it'll take a couple of seconds obviously more data takes longer and you can see that's now moved across 13.25 megabytes and if you want to move it back to the phone's internal storage simply hit move to device storage and it'll move it all back again for you now this works fine with small amounts of data or small applications but some applications their developers haven't designed them to be run from the micro SD card so if you go back a step here and say for example we go to Antutu X benchmark the option to move to SD card is grayed out because that developer hasn't allowed for it to work from the micro SD card. So do bear that in mind. Not all applications can be moved to the micro SD card. So I'll go back a step here and say if you want to move across BBC iPlayer and it says 24.01 megabytes, simply hit move to SD card and watch what happens. It's moved across 22.38 megabytes, so it never moves everything across because some data has to stay on the handset itself. Now, I'll show you a bigger example of this. Now, this works fine to most applications, but what happens, say, if you start to use big applications like games? And if I can find it, there we go, Need for Speed Most Wanted. This is a big game. You can see the total space 2.06 gigabytes in size and application is 5102. Move to SD card and watch what happens. You would think it would move across 2.06 gigabytes, absolutely all of it, but it doesn't. You can see it's only moved across 34.62 megabytes. A very small percentage of the total amount has been moved across. And if we go back here, then go across to SD card, you can see at the bottom 60 megabytes is now used but 119 gigabytes is still free. So this process of moving applications to your micro SD card that Samsung have built into the S5 does work, but you would have to move a hell of a lot of applications to your micro SD card in order to have significant benefits on freeing up space on your phone's internal storage. So stay tuned for a future video on how to move absolutely everything across to your micro SD card in terms of data health for an application. But that's how easily you can move data to your SD card using the standard functions on the Samsung Galaxy S5. As ever, any comments or questions you guys have got, hit them up in the comment section down below there. Give us a thumbs up if you like this video and a lot what you saw. And if you found it informative, then please do give us a like. And if you haven't yet subscribed, hit that button just down there. It doesn't cost you a single penny and you can also check out some of our forthcoming videos thanks for watching have a wicked day and we'll see you next time